Today on our 2013 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, we're going to be doing a test fit on the Swagman XTC2 platform style bike rack. That's part number S64670. So I've already got it loaded up on my Wrangler Unlimited just to give you a good idea of what it looks like and how it's going to hold our bikes. Now this is one of eTrailer's most popular bike racks, mostly because of how simple and easy it is to use. You can get your bikes from A to B without any hassle. Now with our current setup, it actually works out perfectly with our Wrangler. You can see how it fits around our spare tire nicely with plenty more to spare if we had a larger tire. We also have the elongated hitch here so we can get around our spare tire and you can pick up that hitch right here at eTrailer.com so you can get this exact setup. But let's go over how it secures our bike. It actually uses a rubberized frame hook, puts down pressure on our top tube into our front and rear cradles, and then we have a rubberized strap further securing our bike. Let's go ahead and take our bike off. We'll start by undoing the rubber straps first. Then we'll come up to our frame hook. We'll raise the first one out of the way, and then the second one by pressing in on the trigger and then we can guide our bike off. Now what I like to do is replace those straps around our cradles, that way they don't get damaged and they're not hanging around. <clears throat> and then we'll take a couple measurements. So overall, and we're gonna go off of the bumper we've added about 26 inches to the Wrangler for our closest point. We'll go off of our bumper and we'll go about 10 and a half inches to our cradle. And for our ground clearance at the very back, just underneath our cradle is gonna be about 23 inches. Now, though this bike rack can't tilt away and can't fold upward, we do have the option to fold down our center mast to the left or right so we can gain access to our spare tire or our hatch here. Now, we can't open it all the way, but we can still gain a little bit of access to remove any gear like helmets or gloves that we might have with us on our trip. Now you can drive around with it in this position, and you can stow it in this position. It also has a second position that we can keep it in, and I'll show you that. We'll raise up that center mast, and this time we're going to raise up the platform on each side. Pull out that pin, realign the holes, and reinsert the pin. Now this is known as the suitcase position. This is a great way to store it off of your Jeep, maybe in your garage, or on a shelf somewhere. Now it secures into our inch and a quarter or two inch receiver. It includes a sleeve, so it'll work with our two inch receiver, as you can see. The anti-rattle bolt and clip is included. The nice thing about the anti-rattle bolt is it's gonna help reduce all the play within our receiver tube and our bike rack to make a nice solid ride for our bikes. But that's gonna complete our test fit on the Swagman XTC2 platform style bike rack part number S64670 on our 2013 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is gonna show us the side-to-side -side action which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. And finally, we have the full speed bumps where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. Thanks for watching and click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.